Hello everyone, this is Zan. I'm here to discuss the upcoming upgrades to the Stellar Network, uh, number protocol number 18, uh, how they're introducing automated market makers on Stellar. Uh, this is the water logo because liquidity is coming July 1st, 2021. Uh, a technical proposal to enable automated market makers, AMMs, to Stellar protocol 18. So let's discuss what is this? Uh, well, it's helping with the liquidity. As you guys know, Stellar connects the world's financial infrastructure by making it easy to issue assets and to use those assets for seamless cross-border and cross-currency payments. Market liquidity, which allows the quick and efficient exchange of assets at stable and transparent prices, is fundamental to the network's success. And like many in the ecosystem, uh, the Stellar Development Fund has long understood the fact to quote our 2021 world map, they've been constantly saying this, they're looking to... Improve liquidity. It's an essential part of the 2021 growth plan. The ability to convert assets is what enables varied use cases and actors to interact with one another on Stellar. So if you guys have used Lobster, these Stellar apps, you may have noticed that sometimes when you try to swap different assets, uh, the, the price is kind of funky because there's not enough liquidity in these small market pools right now. And this is what they're aiming to fix. So liquidity markets require substantial depth measured in amounts of units available to be bought and sold. So um, basically they use something called order books, which is outdated. So let's just see this. So like, let's say someone just creates a brand new coin and there's zero market. If that person wants to sell that coin in the market, there has to be another live human on the other end that wants to purchase that coin. So essentially every asset issued on Stellar starts with zero liquidity. To create and sustain a market, people have to be willing to put up capital onto the network uh, and to use that capital to facilitate asset conversion. Conversion. Currently, there is only one way to do that, which is creating orders on the order books. But the desire to improve liquidity to make cross-border payments fast, cheap, and highly usable led to the proposal to enable the creation of automated market makers, or AMMs. On Stellar, based on what we have seen, on other decentralized networks, AMMs have potential to help the network continue to thrive by, and grow by making liquidity, provision, and accessible a simple and inclusive process. So the order book is what we're on now. It's, it's kind of outdated if you ask me. And in the future, what we're going to have are AMMs. If you guys have seen uh, Mr. Pool's background, there was something IMF, World Bank, X pool. I believe this is X pool. There's gonna be these giant liquidity pools where we'll be able to exchange in and out of, and we'll also be able to put capital into these liquidity pools and earn rewards and benefits for uh, creating these public liquidity pools that people will be able to use, especially in these smaller markets, to freely sit, uh, like have uh, stable prices and. Be able to convert convert different assets a lot easier. So uh, anyone can anyone can provide liquidity by depositing into the liquidity pool on Stellar. It will just take a, a single operation, and the pool adjusts prices. Uh, pro, uh, so it removes the need to manually update orders to manage risk. So this is going to be huge. We're going to be able to provide liquidity to the market and uh, have benefits for providing that liquidity and uh, it's going to be huge and if we look so i have this already i just did a video on aqua literally the same logo and basically they're having ultra stellar ultra stellar has launched a lot of successful projects on the stellar network and it seems like these people are the team that are solving the AMMs for Stellar. And there might be a couple other, but this seems to be the main player because Aquarius is looking to add liquidity. It, Aquarius adds liquidity management layer to Stellar and powers new generation of DeFi projects. XLM is, is working on creating DeFi projects. I'll, I'll show you guys more. I believe that XRP, XLM, when two worlds collide, is actually going to become when XRP, XLM ecosystems to merge together and become one seamless network through Flare and everything that XLM is building. So it's going to be one when two worlds collide, when, when they both connect. What is Aquarius? Aquarius is designed to supercharge trading on Stellar, bring more liquidity, 
and give control over how it's distributed across various market pairs. It will add incentive market maker rewards for SDEX traders and liquidity providers LP for upcoming AMMs. Aquarius will allow community to set rewards for selected markets through on-chain voting. Ultrastellar will develop the core protocol of Aquarius and provide tools needed to interact with it. So what is the Aqua token? Aqua is the currency for rewards and on-chain voting in Aquarius. Aqua holders can vote for market pairs that need more liquidity in selected trusted assets. Traders and LPs earn Aqua on selected market pairs. Aqua will play an important role in projects being developed by Ultrastellar. Majority of Aqua tokens will be distributed to network participants and market makers. So uh, there's incentives for market makers that... The core use case of Aqua Token is to increase liquidity of Stellar Dex. This will be achieved by incentivizing the market makers who provide liquidity for chosen markets. So that's what we were just reading on protocol number 18. That basically there'll there'll be people that provide liquidity to these pools and then you'll receive a benefit for doing that. It's also a governance token. So we'll be able to have different voting on the ecosystem. And here it is right here. Aqua tokens will be integrated in projects developed by Ultra Stellar and provide holders with additional benefits such as APY, yield for Y anchors, no fees for crypto purchases, etc. So this is what I just did the video last time. Uh, here's their roadmap. They're developing a lot of different protocols and softwares for on-chain asset voting, uh, user interface voting, liquidity rewards, distribution engine. So that's huge. They're literally working quarter two of 2021 on the liquidity reward distribution distribution engine so that's their whole airdrop we actually just seen them do go through this and then they're launching uh the liquidity rewards uh, mvp quarter three launch of liquidity rewards for market makers on sdex core functionality of aquarius this will inspire more trading activity on stellar decks once amm is added aqua will also reward lps at this stage, we'll start wide distribution of Aqua tokens to Stellar Network participants. So then they go in the quarter two. They already have their plan. They're gonna they will drive liquidity to specific market pairs and vote for assets to be grouped in default list that are used in Ultra Stellar apps. We will work on introducing Aqua tokens in various products. The end goal is to build a thriving, reliable, and decentralized ecosystem around Aquarius and Aqua tokens. The key protocol parameters will be controlled by Aqua token holders. This will be further explored as smart contract frameworks on Stellar mature and evolve. So this is big. So you can follow them online to get more. Satoshi Pay ID Pay this is a really credible company, Satoshi Pay receives R and D grant for Stellar for Pendulum blockchain. So this is something we want to be on the lookout. When this goes live, I'm gonna let you guys know because they're very excited to announce that we have received research and development grant from Stellar Development Fund, that's SDF you'll see sometimes, to start development of Pendulum Network. This is gonna be big. A new second layer blockchain that connects Stellar to wider DeFi ecosystem by adding smart contract support bridges to Ethereum and Polkadot. So this is going to connect Stellar to decentralized uh, finance ecosystem. This is going to be big that's coming up. So I'm going to be watching this like a hawk. So Satoshi Pay has a proven track record as key Stellar Network and ecosystem participants, and we couldn't be more excited that they are exploring an opportunity to connect Stellar to the thriving DeFi ecosystem. With these unique tools for compliant connections to traditional banking networks, the Stellar Network is well positioned to connect traditional finance with initiative DeFi space. Pendulum has potential to bridge to build bridges that increase Stellar's interoperability with other networks, which could enable new use cases and help unlock world's economic potential by making more fluid markets more open and uh, people more empowered. So this is big. This is the second layer of the blockchain. With Pendulum, Satoshi Pay is entering the protocol space, which is an exciting opportunity for us to drive forward. 
permissionless innovation and to increase our impact on the blockchain ecosystem. We've been discussing options to execute arbitrary smart contracts with Stellar team for quite some time and we're delighted to receive their technical input and financial support for this. We aim to bring together the best of two worlds, just like I said, the, when two worlds collide. DeFi applications as we know them from, from Ethereum with Stellar compliant fiat tokens will be existing. Exciting to, to see liquidity and close in Stellar's 9 billion market cap and the 7 trillion foreign exchange market. Interact with booming DeFi economy via Pendulum. Unlimited opportunities for Stellar's uses, users. And there we go again. The AMMs. So Stellar is really waiting for that Protocol 18. It's really important for uh, the future of Stellar. AMMs. We see it everywhere. But once we have it, it's going to be huge. We've just finalized the Pendulum light paper. A node prototype went into testing. And we have important news coming up. Follow Pendulum social media channels. Be up to date on latest development. So this one's not live yet. We're going to be watching it. But uh, it all. this is all just showing you that Stellar and XLM are taking the necessary steps to uh, create global adoption. Stellar is taking steps towards global adoptions. I know this channel and many other channels has focused so much on XRP. But now that XRP is over a dollar, I've been really digging deep into XLM because we know they're going to be big. We know they're going to be big, but they're very quiet. You don't hear much about them. And I think that's for a reason because they really have a whole game plan to take over the world. The market makers are going to be huge. It's really going to free the liquidity up on Lobster and many of these other Stellar apps. And I believe it's for the people. I believe Stellar is for the people. Uh, this is what we're going to be using on a day-to-day basis. Uh, XRP will be for the higher-ups that basically are reserve currencies. That It's like our gold. We're not going to really, you don't really use gold that much. You, you put it in your reserves. But everything built on Stellar is what the people are going to use. So I'm really excited. If you guys want more videos on Stellar Networks and the future of Stellar and some upcoming projects, let me know. But yeah, I'm really excited about Aqua. I think this is a cool opportunity uh, we're helping the network. We're helping put up the liquidity for it. So uh, we get rewarded. And that's better than fiat money. If we put money into a, an outdated bank a fee, with fiat, I mean, we don't get no rewards. I mean, the, the best we'll get is uh, a late. If, if we don't have any money, they'll tax us. They'll charge us money to use it. This is the opposite. So um, this is what I'm looking at, looking into. It's still very early in its beginning, so uh, uh, we don't have much information. Um, but I'm excited for the future of Stellar. This was just a quick video, everybody. Everybody, peace. Have an awesome.